So, one should limit the current when we are starting our motor. How to limit that current? So, DC motors are provided with the starters. One may get confused the term with the starter. <coughs> Starter. So one may get confused regarding what is called a starter. In DC machine, DC machines are self-starting or not. First of all, this question comes. So if a person is not knowing, may be possible that due to misconception, a starter he may take the starter as a one which starts a motor. But DC motors are self-starting. This is a concept we should understand that DC motors are self-starting motors. So it doesn't require any starter for starting the motor. But it requires a starter to limit the starting current of the machine. Which we have seen that the starting current since there was no vacuum at so the starting current was very much high. When the motor picks up the speed, EV will be coming into picture and as EV will start rising, my armature current will come down. So at the, at when the start, uh, motor has already picked up the speed, then there is no problem with the armature current. So it is it has come into the limits. But when, when we are talking about the starting, at that time the starting current is very much high. And to limit that starting current, we need starts. This IA is limited by these starters. So there are two types of starters. One is three-point starter. And second is four-point starter. What is the basic idea of the starter is that if you put a series resistance, what exactly the starter would be? If you put a series resistance in between the armature resistance, suppose if you put a series such that it is a variable resistance in this formula, what happens at the time when the I'm having a I am not having any vacuum at the starting. No vacuum is there, suppose this part is not there. So at the starting, I will be keeping my series resistance at a higher value. Suppose at a thousand ohm, suppose. So my current has decreased now. The, the power which it was drawing from the waiting from the terminals. So it has it is wasted in R series by I square R losses and the rest is going to the armature which is a very less current in that case. So what happens this resistance I'll not say it's a series resistance but we get into and say that it's a rear stack. The rear stack is in in uh, with uh, series with the resistance of armature. So this resistance will be having a very high value suppose of 1000 ohm. So my current at the starting will come down. As soon as the motor picks up speed, EV comes into the picture. And as soon as EV is coming into the picture and EV starts building up, EV is going up now. So I will gradually decrease this R and this R is reduced up to zero when motor my motor hook picks up the whole speed. So as soon as the EV is increasing I will decrease my R which is in the various state resistance. So my current is limited again to the same value. So I will not burn my motor at that time and my motor will be sufficiently working in a good condition.
So this is how the motor is, the motor started its runs. So we will start with the DC uh, 3 point starter. Three-point starter is having two very important things. One is low volt pipe, and another is over a coil, which I'll be showing. Suppose this is the resistance I was talking about, and this is one spindle connected to it, which is uh, spring-mounted, and it has taken this position, and and this is the off position. And this is my on position. In off position, it is having when the starter it is on the off position, it means the whole of the resistance is coming into the picture. When it is totally on, it means it is having least resistance in the, in the picture. So this is this is made up of actually I use the different color so that one may understand for this. Since this is the iron part, I will use blue color, I suppose. This is the iron spindle which is moving in the resistance. This is these are having the different type of resistance part, and this has reached to this part. This is my position B, <coughs> and it is moving like this way. And it is attached somewhere, so it is moving in this way. How this is moving? There is a coil bound by a wire. Which type of coil it would be? That suppose this red color is the coil, and some wiring is on it. So it is an electromagnet now. So this electromagnet is attracting this iron piece in this way. So what happens when I talk about that? Motor. This these two points. These two points. No volt coil is in series with the field winding. So I am having field here. Suppose so wire is connected over here. For sake of another way, I am using the different color so that one may understand what is the wiring actually. This is a very important wiring. This is coming here, and another part is coming to the second one, which is coming from here to the off position, and these terminals. Are also actually, if I take this terminal here, these terminals are actually coming here. I'm having another uh, short circuit, short circuit this, which is called, which is going to the over release coil again. Again, I'm having one. Coil over here. And this is also wrong. Here, my wirings are again going somewhere.
this is again an RN piece and the wirings of this one wiring is connected to this another is wiring going to the load circuit so L this is A and this is P required by L but of this RF would be there so what of this another thing which is coming into the picture now is the nomenclatures this is called the over release coil overload release coil we can see this red one is the over release coil and this red one, upper one, is called the no volt pipe. So, this is the actual diagram of the uh, machine. <coughs> This one is going here and that is attached here. So we can see that there are three points. One is called the L point, another is called the A point, and another third point, point is called the F point. So the, this part is a the resting of this iron piece. These are also iron pieces. So again, I will make them in this fashion so that one may understand the square positions, square ones are the. This is also an iron piece. How this three point starter works? <coughs> when my motor is started, at that point, my field coils are energized. So, this spindle, which is here, comes to the on position. So, the whole of the this the resistance, these are actually the resistances of different denominations are coming into the picture and when this resistance is coming into the picture then the resistance is very much high at that point my current IA will be coming down as soon as my motor picks up the speed EV comes into the picture and since EV is coming into the picture we start decreasing resistance and this will come here then it has this much of resistance is there now in the circuit. After some time, this much, then this much, then this much, and ultimately my total resistance is cut off from the circuit. So when my field coils are energized, this snow volt coil attracts this iron pieces and the whole thing comes into the picture. And it is gradually decreased to operation to some values. Now if if there is some load fluctuation, suppose uh, when my motor is running at the full speed, the speed is very much high, at that time the vacuum is very much high, and that point the current is very low at that point, so current will be there, uh, very less current, IA will be there. But when there is a sudden fluctuation in the supply, or if something happens to the load, as the load increases, the my current will start increasing again. So at that point, what will happen? This overload release coil will come into the picture. So we can see one thing that this over release coil is attached, uh, is actually energized. This is also a coil and this is an iron piece. 
again when this becomes an electromagnet this will uh, try to take this iron piece upward so that when it goes up and this part this wiring also goes up and this is a uh, thing which is shorting actually the terminals of the low volt wire when these low volt coil got shorted it, the electromagnet of the low volt coil uh, is vanished now so when this vanishes off so the spindle of this thing goes automatically to the off position when it goes to off position again it, it is releasing the uh, uh, this off so it, uh, the motor starter again comes into the picture so this is the working of the overload release coil but when we are talking about a very less flux when it is less flux then there may not be possible there will be a possibility that this no volt coil will not be able to uh, sustain the uh, that much of electromagnetism to pull this spindle of the uh, uh, resistance so uh, this drawback is taken care in the four point starter uh, which is 